Yo, yo, it's JSF, and look, it's about time we had this talk. We gotta have this talk. We gotta stop the cap. I'm just, and the reason I'm, I'm saying we gotta have this talk is because I'm tired of seeing people who don't play this game praise this game's netcode, or people who play this game once a week, twice a month, whatever it is. I'm, I play this game every day. I stream it every day. Twitch.tv slash J underscore S underscore F. Come through, it's lit. Anyway, the netcode in this game is garbage. And I've mentioned this in multiple videos, right? I've mentioned this off the fly all, all the time. I just throw it in there and that code sucks. But no, we need to have a definitive video explaining and just detailing the fact that the net code in this game is trash. It just is. This is just the truth. It's a cold hard fact. It's not my opinion. This is not me being salty. Uh, you're, you're mad because you lost uh, online or something. Nah, I'm I'm annoyed because the netcode in this game is fucking garbage. And people can use it to your advantage. Like, you play against somebody who's going to pick Luke Hang and just mash buttons over and over and over again. Because you can't react to anything in 150 ping. And you can't decline the match when it's 130 ping. And then the match starts and it jumps up to 160. And you just got to deal with mashing ass Luke Hangs with an advancing jab string that goes half fucking screen. It's nonsense. Like the the game. Like let's be honest. Let's just be real with each other. Let let's talk about something objective. Fuck what I'm talking about, right? Let's bring up something that you guys cannot deny. Everyone hates Combat League. Yes or no, right? We all hate Combat League, right? Combat League is annoying. People call it Try Hard League, Toxic League, Demon League, whatever you want to call it. Combat League is online ranked play in Mortal Kombat 11. For anybody who doesn't know. The community, the overall consensus is 99% hate. Everybody, I've not seen a single person say, I love or I really enjoy Combat League. Never seen it, never heard it, doesn't exist, right? I think we can all agree to that there. So why do we hate Combat League? What do we hate about Combat League? What, what is it? What do we hate? Is it because people are tryhards? They're trying to do anything, any possible way to win? Um, you know, is it because, you know, I get matched up with players all over the place? Is it because I be playing people with bad connections? What is it? What, what is it? I would, I just want to put the, put the, the image in your mind, right? I want you guys to think about it. What is it specifically that people hate about combat league? I hate fighting Jade players, mashing ass Liu Kang players, Sub-Zero players who just do 50 50s and slide. What do you hate about combat league? Now think about what you, what you really don't like about combat league. And realize that that is only an issue because this game's online is trash. It's trash. It's fucking trash. Yes, there are some stupid things in the game like Sub Zero's 50 50, but offline, mm, if you got good reactions, you can probably react to it. Like offline. It's hard, don't get me wrong. It's very difficult. It's not easy. It's 19 frames. Like that should be 22 frames. It should be 21 or 22. Like it should not be 19 frames. But anyway, like that's something that is like it's it's a it's annoying and he's a piece of shit character but another situation like gears players right one one sand trap or one 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 overhead right that's something that's a 100 percent 50 50 online but offline that's reactable i can react to it and my reactions are not the best i'm not a pro player right um there are other instances right other characters who can get away with shit online that you know how to deal with right like raiden storm cell for example raiden players will teleport mash down three his down three is like minus two minus three on block so they can just keep pressing fucking buttons because this game is poorly designed right um he can do down one storm cell or back one two storm cell on block and you know how to punish storm cell right block the first two hits duck the third hit dash in or walk in and punish him but when you when you mix in online and the connection and the lag and all this type of stuff, you might accidentally block the third hit or you might not get the dash and you might just get a, a slight walk forward or you might try to do walk forward jab and get forward one and it might be the wrong input. You know what I mean? Little shit like that. I think the reason we hate combat league is not because it's combat league. We've had ranked in every other fighting game we've played. We had ranked online in Justice 2. We had ranked online in MKX. We had ranked online in Justice 1. The reason we hate, like, you can argue, uh, this one has rewards tied to it, and some people don't like, oh, I don't like that there's rewards, I don't like that either, but, if anything, all that does is make people try hard more, right? And the try hard shit is more of a problem, because this game is designed to be a game where you can't react to everything.
You cannot react to Scorpion's Teleport. You cannot react to Sub-Zero Slide. You cannot react to Jade Shadow Kick. You have to be preemptively ducking, blocking, whatever the situation is. You have to be preemptively doing it to avoid those things, right? <clears throat> and they're not, like, they're all unsafe on block, but unsafe on block with a catch, right? Sub-Zero does the slide. I can't just punish with my jab string. Not when, not when I play Frost, I can't. I got to punish with back one, or I got to dash up to punish it, right? Like, it's a little shit like that. Like, Scorpion teleport is unsafe, but he could EX it, and then it's only minus 14, and if you try to mash out a punish uh, because the connection's bad, you get hit by the by the extension. Yes, there's a universal timing where you can wait, or you can, I understand. I know how to deal with every move in this game. So when I say these things, I'm just putting it in perspective, right? Like, Jade Shadow Kick. You block the first hit, she can do the second hit. She also side switches and gets out of the corner for fucking free, which is not but anyway um the the real issue with the like why we hate combat league is not because of combat league is because the way this game is designed is really gimmicky and stupid and the online is just horrible everybody wants to praise the netcode rollback netcode rollback yes rollback netcode is great um y'all want to shit on japanese developers but they're putting rollback in games from 20 years ago so they're working on it they just don't know they're way on another fucking continent they don't know what the hell's going on in america um but everybody wants to praise this game's netcode, but it's garbage. Like, people don't understand that matchmaking is part of the netcode. People don't understand that the matchmaking in this game is horrible. If I'm demigod ranked, why am I playing somebody three ranks below me in ranked? And it's not even... I would understand if it's a player who's like 20 and 0, right? Like, they keep beating people with their rank, so they get matched with somebody higher rank. I can live with that. That's fine. But it's not like that. It's somebody with more losses than wins, three ranks below me. If I win, I get 10 points. If he wins, he gets 200. That match, that should never happen. That, like, that's bad. That's wrong. That's inaccurate. And on top of it, the ping will be high. And then it'll be on Wi-Fi, right? We got to talk about the fact that every time you join a match, the ping jumps up by 30. Every single match online. Wi-Fi, you can match with somebody on Wi-Fi, rank match. It could be 50 ping. That shit will jump to 200. Like, that's crazy. Why does the game not, if I, <clears throat> if you're allowed to disconnect, or, or not, not, not disconnect, if you're allowed to decline a match, at 151 ping because you can't decline it at 150 it has to be over 150 if you can decline at 151 why does the game not auto disconnect when the ping jumps over 150 or jumps to 200 if the ping hits 200 the match should auto disconnect or if it does it a certain amount of times or for a certain length of time right if the match is at over 200 ping for five seconds or more the match should disconnect it should disconnect it just should it just should because the connection is not stable enough to play in. It's not an environment. Unless it's a situation where you are in ranked and you decide, I want to play this 200 ping motherfucker. If you decide I want to play his ass, all right, bet. You got to deal with whatever comes to you. But I've had matches literally, and I'll put some matches up. I'll have matches that are 200 ping, 300 ping, 400 ping. Jump up to 1,000. Jump down to 300 ping. Jump down to 100 ping. Do that shit for like a whole round. And the game just doesn't disconnect. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, we have to stop the cap, bro. And the people who don't play this game need to just stop. Like, because you're spewing you're spewing a different rhetoric to a whole different audience, right? Like, if you cover Capcom games mostly, if you cover Dragon Ball mostly, if you cover different fighting games, right? And I love all the content creators. I watch all their content, which is how I know what they say. But... You guys don't know shit about this game, so don't run around telling people the netcode in this game is fantastic because it's never going to get fixed, right? You can't fix a problem if you don't acknowledge it exists, right? And this problem will never get fixed if we keep running around saying, oh, netcode's great, netcode's amazing, oh, man, in Mortal Kombat, I can play somebody in motherfucking Pakistan, and the connection's great. No, you can't. I consistently get matched up against players from different countries. I literally played a, Jap a dude from Japan connection and he played scorpion you know how that shit went connection was awful it was terrible <laughs> i played a dude from fucking panama whose name was dude from panama he's clearly not from america i've played people from all over the world in this game and to some people that sounds great right i think it's great if you choose to do it it's cool to have the option to be able to play somebody in the uk from california it's beautiful that i have that option but if the ping is 200, I don't want to play his ass. I don't. I don't. I don't want to play him. I shouldn't have to play him. We need to say something to Netherrealm and be like, Yer, Eboon, this shit is trash. Fire Paulo. Get a new balance guy. Fix this goddamn internet. It's trash. And, like, I'm sorry if I'm kind of ranting. But we just need to have this honest conversation. The community is hella cat. The NRS community and the FGC as a whole is extremely fucking cat.
like you guys aren't honest you guys aren't real and i don't mean the people like watching this video i mean the people in the community the influencers the people with power right the people with a platform the people with clout in the community i have zero clout i have zero platform nobody wants to subscribe to my shit. it's fine um i'm just saying i'm gonna be the honest one I'm, i will be the honest man in the room i will walk in a room and be the one person i will be the one only one telling the truth i'll be the smartest person in the room who looks like an idiot put it that way I will be the smartest person in the room. Like, if you're the smartest person in the room for the idiots, guess what? You're the dumbest person in the room. I will be that. I will walk in the room, disagree with everybody, and be hated and flamed by everybody. I've done it since Injustice 1. I don't care. I'm here to tell the truth. I want the community to know the truth. And if not the real community, the people with clout, at least the community of people who really play the game like I do, who are really frustrated like I am, because I know that there are other people that feel exactly how I do, right? There are people who know this feeling and then you go on Twitter and see uh, pro players or you go on YouTube and see content creators say, wow, the netcode is so good. And then you go home and play this shit and you go, fam, I am ready to throw my TV out the window playing this game online. Like, that's not normal. <laughs> I've broken five controllers playing this game. That's not normal. I've never done that playing any other fighting game in my life. It's not normal. <laughs> like, we need to have, and yes, that is on me. That's definitely me and my issue. But I like MKX never made me that mad. Injustice never made me that mad. One or two. MK9, Street Fighter 4 or 5. Street Fighter 5 can fucking have a connection bobbing and weaving, fucking looking like Tyson, looking like Floyd with the fucking rollback. It's cool. Uh, it sucks, but like, I, I don't get that salty about it, right? Because in this game, I'm good and I know how to play it. And the fact that I'm good, I know how to play it, I read what you're gonna do, I react to it, and I get punished for it, that's a problem. My logical brain can't do it. So, we need to just, as a community as a whole, keep it a buck about the netcode. This game's netcode is ass. It's terrible. It needs to be fixed. N NRS put out a netcode patch in like June of last year. If I find the, the, the update post, I'll post it. They put out a netcode patch in like June of 2019 or some shit. And ever since that patch, the netcode has been garbage. For the first like month of this game, I think the netcode was fine. And they put out a netcode patch and um, they were like, oh, we're aware of uh, lag issues since the updated netcode patch. We're looking into it. And I don't think they ever did shit about it because the netcode is still horrible. Why is every match I go into on Combat League over 100 ping? Every single match. Every single match. If I play 20 matches, maybe one or two are under 100 ping consistently. It doesn't make any sense. Like, so, the, like, for, for, for frame of reference, if I run a speed test by Ookla, my uh, internet speed is 400, 300, 500. My, my internet speed is 500 megabits per second. That's what my internet, that's what I pay for. That's my internet. That's hella fast. If you don't know what that means, it means hella fast. <laughs> my internet is really good. My PS4 is hardwired. If I plug my laptop in hardwired, uh, the internet speed is going to go to 500, maybe over 500. I've seen it get to 550. When I, when I did a test run and got my internet to 940 megabits per second, guess what? I was still dealing with the same bullshit. It doesn't matter how fast I make my internet, how good I make my internet. The online experience is still shit. I still run into laggy matches all the time. It's ridiculous. So what does that tell me? Either one, every single player I play online, even the people on wire connections, have horrible internet speeds. Or the more logical approach, this game's netcode is fucking shit. And everybody, it's it's weird, man. It's like being in the goddamn Twilight Zone. Because everybody's running around like, oh, yeah, netcode's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so much better than Dragon Ball. This is so much better than, eh, yeah, I, I don't know if it is, man. I don't know if it's so much better like if i play a game like street fighter like dragon ball which in those games you can at least set a rank or you can at least set a like connection preference i only want to play three bar four bar five bar connections is it always going to work 100 percent? no but at least you get you get that right why can't i say i only want to play people under 100 ping on this why can't I say I only want to play people who are not on Wi-Fi? Why can't I say, you know what I mean? Why can't I play people by my region? Why, you know what I mean? Like, why, why do I have to just get thrown in with the damn sharks and say, nah, you got to play his ass. He from, uh, he from fucking Kazakhstan and he's on Wi-Fi, but it's 149 ping right now. So you got to play him. And as soon as the match starts, it jumps up to 190 
and then it just bounces around from there and you just can't play a fighting game in an inconsistent connection like when i'm trying to do shit frame by frame when i'm trying to punish uh scorpions forward forward four two three or whatever where he fucking sticks the sword in the ground and jumps at you because it's minus eight and i have a seven frame jab and i try to punish it and i get down to crush and blow for it yeah i'm ready to throw my controller into, into the fucking wall yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm ready to pick up this PlayStation and fucking Tombstone pile driver it. I am. Like that that might be a me problem, but it's like I know what you did. It's technically unsafe and I have the execution to punish it. But since lag LOL, I I get I get killed for it. And that's just one example, right? There are worse examples than that. Like I've tried to punish Jade's shadow kick and got uppercut it. Like it stupid shit like that when there are moves in this game like I've talked about before that are designed to be unsafe And you try to do the right thing like punish an unsafe move and they just keep mashing <laughs> or, or they're teleporting like because the rollback is so damn high like it's just bad man Like they need to perfect this shit and I'm sure that there is a better version of GGPO rollback Neko that exists because this is um This is probably not the perfect one. This is nether realms interpretation of GGPO Neko um Go talk to Tom and Tony Cannon. Go to Riot. Ask them what they're doing. Please fix this, fix this shit for Ultimate or for the next game. I just had to get this all out before Ultimate came out. I know it's too late. I know they're not going to fix it. But I'm tired of like... I'm telling you, watch me stream this shit. Watch me play and you will see every match I get is horrible connections. I lose... The majority of the time I lose... And this is going to sound cap, but it's just the truth. The majority of the time I lose is because connection is terrible. It's just the connection's terrible. Even when I played Biohazard in that tournament, connection was awful. Is he a better player than me? Of course. But the connection was still awful. <laughs> that doesn't change that. Like, I still was getting input errors and shit, you know? And sometimes the ping ain't even that high, but you still feel significant input delay. And I don't know what that is, but that's another thing in this game, too, that nobody really talks about. But anyway, sorry for ranting. I wasn't planning to really fucking rant like that, but it's the truth, man. The netcode sucks, and we got to start, like, putting it out there. We got to, we got to, as a community, just start telling, start shitting on this game's netcode. So Nether, Netherrealm will see it. We, we just got Melina in the game because Melina stands kept saying, yo, where Melina at? When's Melina? Give us Melina. We don't give a fuck about this Cabal Kano shit. Where's Melina at? Where is she? Give us our queen. And they did it, right? If, if all the voices come together and say this netcode sucks, or all the the pro players, influencers, whoever, come together and say, You're, this netcode is ass, because you guys all think it. I watch a lot of you stream, or I'll pop in your streams, or look at what you say on Twitter. Like A lot of you guys think the same thing, right? Um, you just talk around it, or you tiptoe around it, or you say it in a private Discord call, but won't say it publicly, because you niggas is mad pussy. But whatever, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. I, I just want the truth to get out there, man. I want a better game. That's all. I want a better game. If you watch, like, my, my character breakdowns, my reactions to, like, the trailers and shit, especially the Rain one, you can tell that I like Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. And I like the game, kind of. I just hate the way it's designed. <laughs> I just wanted to be fixed man. That's it. I just wanted to be fixed and I don't want to keep renting. I don't want to keep going forever um, I would say subscribe, but y'all ain't finna subscribe. No way. Uh, just stay safe and have fun, man. I'm out